the MTA says the subway smashed recent ridership records, with the marathon adding to the amount of people needing subway service. On Saturday, ridership hit 2.45 million, and on Sunday, 2.1 million, the highest since the pandemic. And while safety is top of mind, MTA CEO Jana Lieber says announcing the NYPD's presence on the platform is working. What we're hearing from our customers is they love knowing that there are cops on the platform, both to reassure them that there's a police presence, but also in some cases so they know where to turn if something that concerns them is going on. Yet four stabbings on the subway happened in less than 24 hours. Police say a 23-year-old man was stabbed in the chest at 2 a.m. this morning at the 111th Street Station in Ozone Park, Queens. At the same time in Brooklyn, a 25-year-old man was slashed in the forehead on the J train near the Cypress Hill Station. Police say Sunday night, a 54-year-old was stabbed in the arm on the 4 train at the 149th Street Grand Concourse Station. Also in the Bronx Sunday morning, a 44-year-old was stabbed in the neck on the platform at the Morris Avenue Soundview Station, according to police. It's not safe. There's no camera on the train. Anything can happen in the train. In it's the, last the only way to get around New York City if you don't have a car. So you don't have no choice but to take the subway. I don't feel comfortable at night sometimes. Some people sleep in there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. The Ridership Alliance is calling on elected officials to reduce homelessness and increase mental health care if they want New Yorkers on the rails again. One rider is an injury to every rider, and that's why it's so important to make the investments we need to reduce the impact of these cases, to reduce the crime in the subway.